So as a quick overview of Excel, how could we describe it and what it is capable of? Well, basically Excel is just a program that will allow you to manipulate spreadsheets that Microsoft refer to as worksheets. Now each individual worksheet is 65536 columns wide. It starts at the letter A, progresses to B. Once it gets to Z and runs out of letters, it starts to double up. So we go AA, AB. Once it runs out of letters again, so at ZZ, it will go AAA, AAB, and it keeps on going until we get to XFD. So the last column in Excel is XFD. You can't have any more columns than 65,536. You cannot have any less. Obviously, you don't need to use them all. The number of rows is 1,048,576, and they're indicated by numbers. So they just keep going down, 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 and down until you get to 1,048,576. You can't have any more rows. You can't have any less. Now, each worksheet is that size, and you can have a number of worksheets joined together in a single file that Microsoft referred to as a workbook. And you can move between the worksheets at the bottom here. There are little tabs. So this is sheet one, two, and sheet three. There is no limit on the number of worksheets you can have. You just add another sheet, you add another sheet. And that will become one single file that gets saved in Excel 2010 with the extension .xlsx. And that is the extension that has been used for 2010 and for 2007. Prior to that, it was just .xl. S. So those are the two file extensions you would tend to see for Excel in the main. .xls for anything prior to 2007, .xlsx for post-2007, Excel 2007, Excel 2010. Obviously, 2010 can save backwards into this older format. Within Excel, then, you'll be given a number of ribbons, and we have the home ribbon that contains a lot of common commands, which is why it's the home ribbon, an insert ribbon for inserting various objects, Page layout for controlling the page layout. Formulas, so a whole ribbon dedicated just to doing formulas. Data ribbon, so for controlling data, connecting to it, sorting it, etc. A review ribbon for spell checking, adding comments, even translating. A view ribbon for changing the view, as there are different views of an Excel spreadsheet, and turning on or off various options. And a developer ribbon for adding macros and addings to the program. Now those aren't the only ribbons you will get. What you will find if we move to sheet two, if you have some objects on your sheet and you select that object, you'll get given a context sensitive ribbon. So in this case, this object is a smart art. So you get smart art tools and there are actually two sub ribbons in there, design and format. This item here is clip art, so it's classed as a drawing tool and it has a format ribbon to allow you to make changes. But that's a context sensitive one. And these context sensitive ribbons always appear at the end of the existing ribbons. With nothing selected, you only get the default ribbons. Now you may not get the developer ribbon. That's an option that has to be activated under the Excel options. But certainly all the other ribbons are there by default. And then the file menu, which is covered separately, has a lot of options down the left. Within each of your ribbons, you'll find there are different groups. So on the home ribbon, we have a clipboard group and it's divided by a vertical line from the font group, which is divided by another line from the alignment group, etc. And we have number, style, cells, editing. Some of the groups have menus and you'll find if you have this little symbol at the bottom right of the group, you can click that and it opens a separate dialog box. If there is no little arrow in the bottom right, there is no separate dialog box. Everything for that group is contained on the ribbon. And that's the same in all the others. So insert has tables, illustrations, charts, etc. And the charts has an extra dialog box. Formulas, function library, define names, formula editing, calculation. None of those have any extra dialogs. Data, outline has an extra dialog box. And we go there. So the ribbons are broken down into groups. On each group, there are a number of icons that do what you want them to do. If there are more options for that group, you'll get the arrow here at the bottom right of the group. As well as accessing all the commands that you would wish to do through the ribbons, there is a quick access menu, which is this little mini toolbar here, which has a drop down to allow you to add or take away buttons from the quick access toolbar. Those with ticks are on it. 
Those without are not on it, but can soon be added on by just choosing them. So if I show spelling, for example, spelling's now on there. And it has a tick against it. And I can choose it again to remove it. So the idea of the quick access toolbar is you would put on there items that you do very quickly and very often to save you having to find which ribbon it's on. And you just go straight to it. The ribbons can be hidden from view just by double clicking any of the tabs. And you'll see that that gives you a bit more screen space and hides all the ribbons, although their tab names still appear and it's a single click to then look in that ribbon. But when you click away, the ribbon disappears. To bring the ribbon back permanently, you just double click on any of the tabs and the ribbon then fixes itself back at the top of the screen. So that's double click effectively to detach it, single click to see inside any of the ribbons, but a double click to then fix it back on the top. So that's a quick overview of Excel. There's the number of columns, there's the number of rows. The number of sheets is by default three in a blank file, but you can have as many or as few as you want. There are ribbons at the top for accessing all the commands, and there's a quick access toolbar.